Have you ever dreamed of exploring a new island? Have you ever dreamed of all the misery it would be when you were left behind, or in this case shipwrecked on it? Well, it certainly happened to Jay, Leela, and Mr. Cooper, and this is what's about to happen to them in their miraculous journey right now. The Coopers are confronted by a man called Stuart Kelno. Now he tries to be sneaky and tells them about this curse called Morakanda and tries to make them believe it. But the Coopers are Christians, so they have a hard time believing what he says. And they weren't all here for all of this misunderstanding. They were here to find the long lost missionary, Adam. Later in the story, Stuart Kelno gets frustrated with the Coopers and locks them up inside a cage where he releases a deadly bug known for causing Murakunda. And the remaining Coopers pray for their lives while Leela is about to be fed by a giant snake. Or in this case, two one. While the snake was about to eat Leela, a really nice person called Kendall comes over and saves her. Now Kendall doesn't really know English, so they use sign languages to communicate. The Coopers end up finding Adam in a crevices, in a well, cavern, cave, and they do something that you're going to have to find out yourself. If you don't know this book, you should read it. It's very interesting, so I won't spoil the end for you. So read the book, Escape the Island of Aquarius, written by Frank E. Perrett. Thank you for listening and watching.